Hello, everyone. My name is Ian Cooper, and I'm an integrations analyst with Tetra Science. Today, I'm going to be telling you about our integration with IDBS eWorkbook. Scientists use electronic lab notebooks, also called ELNs, to design and record their experiments. Then scientists execute these experiments using various lab instrumentation and automation equipment. To get data from these instruments back to a notebook, usually a scientist has to go in to find the files and maybe do some manual processing before the data is suitable to be uploaded into something like IDBS eWorkbook. What I'm going to show you today is how we can eliminate this manual step by using the Tetra Data platform to facilitate the transfer of instrument data to an lab notebook. Using our library of instrument and data connectors, we can retrieve experimental data from a wide variety of instruments and systems and pull it into the Tetra Data platform. Then using our IDBS eWorkbook connector, we can upload that experimental data into the notebook. Let's take a quick look in a little more detail. We break down the data flow into two phases. First, we look at the flow from the data of the data from the instrument to the Tetra data platform data lake. The scientist executes the method in the instrument control software, and the raw data from the instrument is picked up by a Tetra file agent and uploaded to the data lake. This automatically triggers a data pipeline, which transforms the raw instrument data into our harmonized JSON-based intermediate data schema, or IDS. The second phase of the data flow is initiated by the scientist back in the IDBS eWorkbook spreadsheet. They click on a button in the spreadsheet to initiate a data transfer process from the Tetra data platform into the IDBS eWorkbook spreadsheet. The Tetra IDBS connector retrieves the harmonized IDS files and pushes the results directly into the IDBS eWorkbook spreadsheet for the scientists to review and analyze. Let's jump over to a live demonstration of what I've just been talking about. Uh, first, we'll take a quick peek at what's in the data lake here. I've prepared some harmonized IDS files containing water content data. These would be the output of the first phase of the data flow. Now I'm switching over to the IDBS eWorkbook. I've already created an experiment and added a spreadsheet, which I will open up here. On this, in the spreadsheet, I have a table with a list of samples that I'm measuring water content for. Over here on the right, I have a button to retrieve the results from the Tetra data platform, which I'm clicking right now. A new tab opens up in the browser to show the process and the progress of bringing data from the Tetra data platform into the eWorkbook spreadsheet. When it's finished, as it is, I can just close the tab and my data is already showing up in the spreadsheet. From here, since everything looks good, I can save the spreadsheet and continue with my analysis now that I have everything I need in my notebook. So I hope I've demonstrated to you how we can combine the power of the Tetra data platform and IDBS eWorkbook to eliminate manual manipulation and tedious transcription by using our IDBS agent to speed up the data flow from instruments to electronic lab notebook. Thanks for watching this today. Head over to our website at tetrascience.com for more integration information about the Tetra data platform and our extensive and ever-growing library of integrations with laboratory instruments and equipment and informatics systems.